Yeah, flick it back now, I think. I think they're ready for the lag. Um, and we've just had the lag, uh, and it happens to be Yasser that's won the lag. So Yasser will be breaking. And of course, this is important to both guys because the winner will go through uh, to the quarters and, and uh, earn some real good ranking points. And of course, the loser that will be the end of his uh, his day in the in the event number one. Yasser's absolutely buzzing. You can see it in his face. He absolutely loves the game. <laughs> yes, that red's gone in. And the reds look lovely. Just one on the uh, side rail at the bottom. Yeah, there's one. There's one red on the side cushion, and there's two yellows on the side cushion. So I think he'll probably be staying on the reds. <laughs> he won't be bothered about that one on the on the bottom cushion there, as we're looking at it or the, the, for the red. I mean, oh, he's already looking at the black. That <laughs> that's confidence. <laughs> it certainly won't bother Yasser. Great temperament for the game, Nick. He just um, never changes his attitude and his demeanour. Doesn't matter what goes on. A bit like uh, Rob Wilson that way. Perfect for the game of pool. <laughs> yeah, and um, he's got such great consistency to his game as well, which uh, says something about our fan today, beating him 4-0 earlier on. Yeah. Just on reds there, Nick, for Yas. Well, he, <laughs> he even tried to go into that. It's the way, it's, I mean, I've mentioned this before earlier on in the day, that you, you, you can't appreciate, if, you, if you're watching on the stream, how, how clean and crisp he hits the white ball every single shot. And, that, and that's where your consistency comes from. Yeah, and he's looking to play the reverse cross double here. Yeah, he is. And I, I tell you what, he's, he's got a... You watch the white ball, he won't just be launching it anywhere. It'll be coming to exactly where he wants it. So controlled, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, that wasn't a lash, was it? That was nice and steady. Yeah, you're off, mate. Well, that's a bit unfortunate for him. He just closed that middle bag off to uh, to that red. He can still get uh, this other red, of course, and swing round for it, but uh, it's a little bit more difficult now. On uh, As far as the pace is concerned, it has to be absolutely uh, uh, quite uh, precise. I was going to say something else then, but it's before 9 o'clock, guys. <laughs> I mean, he could attempt to try and come into one of the other balls to, to help him hold onto that red, but we'll um, we'll just see because it's not that simple. He has committed himself. There is no safety now. He will be going for it. Oh, that's that's lovely. That is such a shame. He, he he did want to contact that yellow, and he actually did manage it. He still can put it in the centre, of course. He's just got to be uh, very careful now about where these other two yellows go that are nearest the middle bag. 
not only does he have to find his way onto the black, but he also has to avoid one of these yellows going in. That is really, really nice. Gives him a, not an easy shot, but at least it is a shot. And when I say easy, I mean easy for us. This could well just fly straight down the centre of the pocket, not even touching the sides. <laughs> and there he goes. First one to Yasser. Okay, so John's about to uh, break off. Let's see what he can do. Balls are down, yellow into the centre. Welcome back, Nick. <laughs> Thank you, um, just lined my stomach a little bit there. <laughs> yes, I smelt the pizza coming in. Oh, it lasted over about 30 seconds, did that? It smells delicious, or it smelt delicious. <laughs> Well, although yellows are down, Nick, I, I, I do believe he'll be changing colour here. Looking where the black is behind that red and and probably where his first red is going to be taking his. So He has done, he's opted for the reds. Harris Alley continues his run of form, the person of Lloyd Freeman on the uh, last month's standing table coming up. Tony McHugh, where are you? Tony McHugh, Harry Sally in the last man standing. That leaves only four left after his match. On table five. Some class going on in the jukebox there, Nick. <laughs> Bit of uh, dire straits. Oh, yes. You wouldn't think I was over 40, would you? <laughs> Or that I've got the music taste of somebody who's over 40. <laughs> I quite like this. <laughs> so, uh, not quite sure where John's going with these. No, I think he hit that red. To, and in, I think he was after disturbing it, but he caught it too thick. And unfortunately, that's not left him in uh, the best of positions. I mean, where the black is, it's not... Uh, it's not too bad uh, for him. He's got options. That's a great shot. That's a that is a great shot. Is that? Well done, John. Well he's done. got he's, it. He's going to screw back into this as well. He's backing it. Well, he he doesn't. Yeah, just. He I presume. Can, I pres does the red go? I think the red may go. You know, because he, he can attempt to get onto it now off the side cushion. Whoa. Oh. Well. Um, I say. I've, I've got my phone on standby, ready to call an ambulance. I think there's been yeah. a dislocation there. Yeah. KFC will be interested in that one. That was a complete chicken wing. And knowing John, he'd be the first to admit it. He let loose there. Well, he's only got the one bad ball, and he's got another ball near it. So I don't, you know, that doesn't have to be. I think yellow drops into the middle just disturb the, the yeah red exactly and the yellow, and, Ex it and, and the other one goes to the top pocket. Yeah, yeah. Don't have to hit it too hard. Well, he could even do something here because I do, I do believe that yellow goes past those two reds into the top right hand corner as we're viewing the table. Watch we'll top it into them. Yeah, he could even just try and top it into them because. Well, if he hits him to the left-hand side of that front yellow, he'll, he'll push the other yellow towards the black, 
and he'll also still leave that yellow into the centre, so, so let's see what he does. Or he could even stun it off the side cushion into that second yellow one. Let's see what he chooses. Because you can't second guess yes. There you go, didn't even bother with it. <laughs> so a bit of bottom right hand side. Yep. Little deft touch here, there you go, look. Absolutely. Played it too well. Well, he has. No. He's caught it too well. He might have to take this into the bottom pocket, you know. Do you think he's got... Yeah, do you think he's... I th I th if he can see enough of it. I think he might be able to see enough of it, but that's one hell of a shot. Well, in saying that, what other choices he got? There's no point just dropping this into the centre. Can't see any other shot, Nick. The only the only thing he can do, can he can he can he put that into the centre and screw back, and then cross double the yellow? I don't think he can. I don't think he's got enough. I don't think there's enough room round the back of the That's red. That's right. I don't think there's enough. Uh, so so really, he's he's got to do some uh, something with the red and the yellow. So he's got to disturb them somehow. John Ward says eggs in basket there. Now what? <laughs> well, John, this this shot will be right up your street. I can see John doing this one. Close your eyes and hit it. Well, technically, there's five bags open. Maybe even six. I'll tell you what he could do. He could cross-double this yellow, the left-hand yellow. He could cross-double it, go off the bottom cushion, come back up and hit the red and yellow. I think he's going to put it and go off the bottom cushion here. No, no. I don't know what he was trying to do. Well, I bet he's glad that didn't go in. Yes, Carly is a good player to watch. Absolutely perfect streaming material. I think John's got to have a go at these. Well, that red does definitely go. There's room there for the red into the centre. And, of course, that can be his last ball. But even if it doesn't, he's got those two reds have got a good, great angle on. But he could either have a go at it now to disturb it. He could. He could because he's always got the second red to, to, to almost be guaranteed left on. So you're right, you can, you can take one of these reds and try and go into those. His choice. Well, he got the cannon, well, but he didn't get the pop. He didn't, and, uh, and, and uh, that yellow passes. So he's got a choice now. Does he play the open bag or does he play the blind? He's playing it to the opposite corner. Yeah, he's playing the open bag. He's played and it that, very, very and well. That is in. That's a cracker. I think, does the other one pass? I think it does. Same again then, on and off the cushion. He's played that so well. It's, it, it's the noise, the, con the contact of the balls, you can tell it's so sweet. Yasser's mum, are you watching? <laughs> she usually is. And your boy's playing well. Yes, yeah, it's a pleasure to watch his asset tough as a commentator because you've got to try and second guess the fella yeah it's, it's sheer range of shots uh, that he's got in his armoury makes it so hard to predict what he's going to do next yeah what I try and, uh, try and tend to do is uh, just choose the most outrageous shot on the table because <laughs> he's usually right <laughs> anything orthodox you can forget about so you can rule them out to start with Where?
Yeah, that's lovely. Just where's his white going to end up? Got kicked back, did the white. What do you think there, Nick? Tough first shot. But, um... Well, it is, but which, well, which tough one? <laughs> there isn't a red available, or else I'd, I'd say reds all day long. But this is it. I, I mean, reds are the ball. Uh, but wow, where is where is your first one? Unless he stays on them. But then again, where's a safety shot? You know, I mean, he's potted a red already. He could stay on them. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Is he looking at it in the middle, or is he looking at it down the rail off the yellow? I, I th I'm sure he's looking at it in the middle, um, but but you know what percentage shot is that really? So anyways, on reds, that's not such a bad thing. Good evening, Ryan's grandad. Hope you will. Yes, good evening. Chosen a good time to join us. Young Mr. Yasser Hussain is at the table. Was at the table. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long day. Well, there's room around the back of that, Nick. There is room around the back of that. You've got to fancy him to uh, to double that bad red at the top of the table as well. So, he'll be looking for 3-0 here. Yes, that double to him it will be uh, will be par for the course. He won't, that won't uh, upset him at all. And that massive pocket down there, he's always going to accept that ball. I am, I am thinking, by the, by the way he's walking around the table, I am actually thinking that was an attempt at a safety shot. He looks disappointed. Well, that would surprise me. Well, he only plays one or two, and he's already played. I've seen him play one of those today, and that's usually all you get out of him in a whole day's play. <laughs> so, I think he's under it that one slightly. Well, does he try? I think he's probably looking at taking the uh, the red nearest the black in the corner and screwing back into the bad one. But I, 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 mm, I think he's just made it a little bit harder than it was before. Although he's he's looking at the reverse cross double. So Phil's just having some uh, microphone problems at the moment. He'll be back with us uh, very shortly. <laughs> Nick, I think I'm back. <laughs> we've got a we've got a dodgy sorted. cable, I believe, but I'm a, I hope he can hear me now. Well, he's up to take it down the rail, and uh, these are very good rails to take balls down. So just needs to avoid the middle bag coming the opposite way, and he'll be uh, should be absolutely fine on the black. Yeah, I, I actually think that's the perfect angle for that uh, for that type of shot. It's just it's just steep enough. It's so it's it's a natural uh, it's a natural middle of the ball. Just depends. With a lot of left hand side. Well, what's he up to? Oh, no, he's not. He no. looked like he was queuing to the left. I agree side with you. Yeah, he looked like he was putting loads on it. Strange. So do I think John's going to take this uh, this part at the top of the table and try and knock the uh, yellow off the side? Perfect angle. He won't get a better opportunity to do that. I mean, get almost guaranteed position on his next yellow regardless. So, yes, he had to do it. Well done. Nice little uh, nudge off the side uh, jaw there. Yeah, I think he can get through to the bottom yellow on his on its uh, on its own. But if not, the plant's on. I know that's a risk. He would prefer to actually put it uh, direct if he could. He can always, of course, come off the cushion, take it in. Wow, 
Well, he's over it, that. <laughs> As he got hold of that, he's in danger of putting that red in. <laughs> well, he's cued it far too nicely, hasn't he? There's nothing simple now. Nothing simple at all. I think he's going to have to take the one down the rail and run the white ball through and try and get the Barry snooker Sally if he misses. He's straight in the field on table five, and on the spot standing. Who's next? Alex Fassett, your time has come. Come and join us on table five. I'm assured it's just a single frame, although it seems to be taking about three quarters of an hour of frame. Wow. Well, that is a monster pot. That is fantastic. I might put a late entry in myself, I might win it. Well done, John. Alex, where are you? How brave was that? Very. You know, three down if that didn't go in. And uh, he took that full-blooded. That was almost frame ball, wasn't it? Yes. It's given him a really good chance now to, to pull one back. In fact, if he doesn't, he'll be disappointed in himself. Yeah, yes. played that nicely. Perfect angle on there. Couldn't have picked it up and put it better with his hand. He needs this, does John? So he'll be a lot happier now, will John? Yeah, that's good to see. Well done, mate. So Tricky's 50p still looking good for the 4-1. <laughs> did anyone take him on it? I don't uh, think they did. Open. Someone must have gone for that. Alex Passy, table Oh, here he is. Alex, here he comes. You're nearly a frame down there, mate. I reckon Ryan's granddad will have 50 pence there. I'll give you evens on 50p now, Tricky. How's that? For 4-1. Have we have we answered the stream from earlier on? You know, Dicko's comment about uh, how does the last man standing uh, play out? That was on there before I before this match started. Oh, it might have been a long time ago. That mine. Yeah, well, D Dicko, if you're still on and you haven't had that answered, uh, just give us a nod and we will uh, we'll go through it again. But I, d I don't want to uh, I don't want to mention it if you've already had it answered. The way saying shame about these two shot selection. Uh, I presume that's me and Paul Horner on the last match. To be fair. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's less about my shot selection, more about my shot execution that's been terrible. Nick, you you like our stream table as well. It's, you're at home once you're on that table, you. Not today. No, very unusual though. Normally it's a big advantage to yourself. I've not enjoyed any of the matches I've played today. I've run five of them. <laughs> Yes, it's a funny old game, his pool, but that's right, isn't it? You know, you can be you can be right, you know, on, on the money one day, and then just turn up the following day. No reason for it whatsoever, but you can be a mile away. <laughs> well, that's me anyway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't as close as a mile away, to be fair. Well, he's got away with that because although he has kissed the uh, the yellow into the red, the red is still playable into that bottom bag if he would, uh, if and when he wants to do that. I think it's a bit risky to do it at the moment. I don't know what he's thinking of there. What, what's this about? Whoa. Okay. Well, he's just opting to play it out. Yeah, but wasn't wasn't it all still on? It was. Um, Mind you, yeah, no. He's got the two bads covered. I think that's maybe just. Yeah, good. exactly. I'm d I, I said that as I was looking at where the yellows were, and to be honest, I agree. I think that's just been in his mind. But I think any practice game, he'd have gone for all of those. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he, w he wouldn't have waited with John. Even you know, I know Yas is exceptionally uh, aggressive and, and open, but John John's no slouch. When he sees the f with the winning line, he goes for it. And he's more than capable of getting them as well. He is. Yes, he definitely is. Mm. 
Now then, yes, so what are we doing here, boy? What's he seen that we haven't? He's potting balls. Exceptionally tough, these yellows. Well, I mean, there's there's two yellows and a black that just don't go anywhere at the minute. <laughs> well, I do wonder if the uh, the yellow nearest the black goes to the top right-hand corner, past the red. Wow. Yeah, well, we'll soon see if he's putting a lot of left on this. No. Well, I tell you what, we'll soon find out because he has the ideal angle to come up for it now if he wants. And it's if it does go, that's what I'd be doing. That's it, he's lost the yeah. white. It's a good idea. I still wasn't entirely sure where the last two yellows were going to be going. No, but obviously Yasser had a plan. <laughs> the last two yellows and the black, of course. Uh, it's never stopped Yasser before. Well, John's just got to join the dots, but he's got to make sure he does join them. He needs to get to two all. This is almost one of those where it's too easy. Yeah, yeah. The only hard bit about this is that there's so many ways to go. And what the hell do you do? Well, I hope that he's playing the white ball down yeah. the table for his bad one on the bottom rail. Well, the way he's put his white ball, I'm sure he must... Well, he must be going for it. Yes, he is. He must be going for his bad ball. Harry Sally still... Uh, Reigning champion there on the uh, last right, man standing table. Still, still in the last man standing. Chris Dyson to the uh, last man standing table. Well, it just a little further than he wanted. A little Slightly bit more awkward, awkward. Isn't it? But you'd still expect him to uh, to pot this. Well, you would because there's, there's nothing he has to do with the white ball, is there? John Ward appreciating. <laughs> appreciating <laughs> the, that's the last man standing <laughs> tournament that he's liking there. <laughs> You see, you could have come down for this, John. I know. Or is it up? Is Sorry. it up, up? Short bus ride, isn't it, from where he lives? Well, I'm not joking. There's Leeds and Bradford Airport, you know, and it's only, a, it's only a quick taxi from there, isn't it? I think the problem is getting an airport in Cornwall. I don't think they've yeah, got electricity yet, have they? No, there is Newquay Airport. You know, it's there. <laughs> To be fair, I think I think the uh, the commuter flight from from Newquay to Leeds has finished because I used to get it down to Newquay years ago, but I don't. I think it's been stopped last year. Well, John's made this slightly harder than it needed to be by uh, by knocking that yellow in front of the black. He he has, but I think it, it well it'll either slide past or he can or he can make sure of it by just bumping the black into the yellow. You know, rather than trying to rather than trying to get it past it, it's square. That that's just like it. that. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah. Yeah, he's done well there. Good stuff. Yeah, well done, John. Two all. Two apiece. He'll be a lot happier now. What's Tricky saying there? Ha ha, it certainly is lol. Come on, Ryan. I think that means come on, Ryan, lad. Yeah, because it says Ryan Lass, and that was uh, confusing me. Confusing the hell out of me. Unless that will, that's what he really means. Well, Damien Cooper's joined us. Hainsworth match, and I believe you are you referring to the cloth, and if so, that is absolutely correct. It certainly is. Like lightning it is. It's like um, green spray paint, Damien. Yeah, balls are down. White stayed up. And look at those yellows, Nick. Oh, they look beautiful, don't they? <laughs> I 
<laughs> right, John, I've got it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's uh, it is a bit wet down there at the minute. <laughs> Oh dear. Glenn Miller. Still missing, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Damien Cooper, my chat is three weeks behind, pal. Well, don't worry about that because that was his. Yes. Justin TV's uh, chat servers are. Whoa! Justin TV's chat servers are definitely behind the. Uh, behind Running behind today. Must be uh, obviously very busy. We tend to get the chat in batches rather than as it happens. So this is uh, bread and butter for Yasser. That's a good shot. Yeah, he's used all that pocket there. Just finished a little bit straight on the yellow. But he's still got his two shots. So I think we'll probably see him use them here. Yes, I would be doing it. Oh, I don't know. I think he might have tried to set that up. He's still okay. Well, that, well, it's okay. He's all right. Yeah. Well, you just. Wow. Oh, well I was it just went about to see. You don't see him miss blocks like that. He used all the bag there. I need to just uh, nip to the gents, guys. I'll be back in a second. So, Damien, I wouldn't worry about the chat being three weeks behind, pal. Um, I think life down in Cornwall, where John Ward's from, is three years, no, 33 years behind. Is that about right? Yeah. So yes on yellows, trying to work out uh, the finish from here. got a shot on the yellow that he's just moved into the middle pocket. I'm not sure it's the shot he wanted. He's also got a shot next to uh, on the yellow next to the black as well. Uh, he's going for the yellow to the middle pocket. And he's lost his white ball. Or oh, has he? He's just chasing these yellows a little bit now around the table. And it's Ali still at the table. Just two more players left. Uh, 
Danny Tyler to the uh, last man standing table. Well, they went for a very ambitious cut to the top corner pocket there. Could have just dropped it into the middle, but he had nothing uh, position-wise with his white. So he's just trying to uh, just trying to force position there. And you're right on the chat there. The tables are very fast. It's like playing on glass, and all the tables in the club haven't just been recovered are exactly the same. Well, guys, gentlemen, so we're effectively at the semi-final stage of last man standing. Uh, the only name left in the hat is Lee Peasgood, so Lee will play the winner. Well, John's positional Valley, shot there Good luck, gents. was not um, not the best, but he's still got a shot to the uh, the bottom right hand corner as we look. I think if he just drops this in. Nick, I'm back. Thank you. And just as I uh, uh, nature called, I had to uh, adjudicate on a on a foul snooker. The price fund is, of course, 75 quid for the last man standing. Well, that might have been John's Plus last shot. Could have been. Team. If this cuts, if so this cuts in, it could be all over. Oh, that's perfect. If he if he lands high on it, that's perfect. Well, okay, there's a bit of top involved here. To top this through, <laughs> yeah. But he can do it. He can do it. Just off the one cushion. Yeah, that's oh, a great shot. Look at that. Look at that. He just made it look effortless, didn't he? You know, well, certainly myself, I'd have been looking at that for about five minutes. Thinking, can I? Can't I? <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's granddad, yes, the table does. Uh, Beautiful. It does look fast and it is very fast. Well done, Yasser. Yep, well played, Yasser. Superb. Good to watch. So Yasser through, 4-2. I'll try and find out who we've got uh, next on the stream table for you. That's correct. We'll be back shortly, guys. Thank you. <laughs> 